Hello everybody, this is Nancy with Rise Higher Astrology. Today I'm going to share something really fun with you. So you can try this on your own and see if this works for you. We're going to open up our birth charts and find the absolute best time of the calendar year to manifest and set new intentions that you can attract your best life. And this is based off of the work of legendary astrologer Jan Spiller. Now Jan passed away in January of 2016, but while she was here, she was a faculty member of the American Federation of Astrologers, and she also wrote several best-selling books from Simon & Schuster on astrology, including her most famous work, Astrology of the Soul, which is largely about the North Node of Destiny and the important role it plays in determining your life's mission. Jan worked with hundreds of clients and what she discovered was that each of us has our own individual astrological time period lasting between three to five weeks where we have the best access to manifest our goals and dreams. This is going to be different for each person based on the time and location of birth. But Jean kept track of this information throughout the years and she even practiced this with herself. So grab your birth chart. If you don't have a copy of it, you can go online to astrocharts.com. You can get a free birth chart there. And I think astrocharts is one of the most beginner friendly sites. If you're not familiar with reading birth charts, so just get onto that site. You don't even have to sign up for anything. Just go straight to the menu and under create chart, select birth chart, type in your information, your place and time, and then once it creates your chart, you're going to go and scroll all the way down to the bottom where it tells you exactly what location each house begins. You're going to look for the 11th house. So when the sun transits your 11th house, this marks the beginning of your astrological golden window of opportunity. So for me, my 11th house begins at five degrees of cancer. So when the sun crosses that threshold on June 29th, my magical season begins and then it leaves my 11th house on July 29th. So it's one full month and it's going to be different from for everyone. For some, it's going to be three weeks. For some, it's, it might be as much as five weeks. So according to Jim, if there is a new moon happening during your golden window time frame, this is an added bonus for manifesting. So you can write down your goals and intentions during this time. And starting this month during the new moon in Gemini, I'm going to be doing a deep dive into manifesting your dreams. So stay tuned for that. So in the comments below, let me know when your golden window of opportunity is according to your birth chart. Have a great day.